In this episode, we cover a wide range of topics, including the top ETFs and the upcoming inflows that will boost the market. We just raised or waved the Ethereum flag. We're going to hear from Sturt in front of Wall Street, which I still find fascinating. Why there's so much drama is beyond me. Arguing, arguing, and alternating. If you believe that the SEC will file an appeal, pay close attention. What do they consist of? They receive the maximum amount of money and will not receive more after appealing. There's no need to refer to this rule book, they'll receive Torres, and guess what? I think you're right. It's unfortunate that I only provided 94% of what you requested. I'll give you guys a little extra cash. Not a heart, Alara even lets you know, and I was able to get the precise temp stamp lined up in the clip. There is no need for you to file an appeal. In this case, we've finished the task and will now scrutinize the BNB coin using Bitcoin. Let's transact with Bitcoin. 61, 2 over the last 24 hours, it has increased by almost 0.5%. With Ethereum trading at 26.73, it is up 1.52% from both the US dollar and US dollar cash. Their pegs have a lean average of 58 cents. The market is currently down 1.29% and is attempting to turn green. Let's watch what transpires on an hourly basis. Usually, over the weekend, there is not a lot of action, let's see what transpires. We anticipate a pleasant market surge on Monday, but where is XRP? Like the others, it's located in Chop City. We are currently in an area known as Chop City. It moves in an up and down manner until it decides to move or break free. People, are you ready for a 100% surge? Bitcoin is about to make a significant leap. What is going to happen is that it will shoot past 74 and up into the $90,000 range. This matter, for the time being, remains unresolved. We remain in Chop City, there are no concerns. Bull Run is not postponed. Starting this exciting new chapter is the best part of running. We've dedicated the last three and a half, six, and two years to working in the cryptocurrency space. We've dedicated the last one and a half years to periods like these during the bull cycle, that's our focus. Recall that the bull run doesn't begin. It doesn't start until a few months later. On this occasion, we received exemplary treatment. But before the event ever happened, we witnessed Bitcoin break its all-time high. That is unprecedented. This suggests that we are in a super cycle where an unprecedented amount of money will enter the cryptocurrency space, and that's where it is going. The markets are declining. Folks, this hasn't even begun. It won't conclude until the summer, or possibly even the fall of 2025. As of yet, you haven't seen anything. Kamala Harris continues to lead the way in poly. Kamala Harris is leading the way in polymer technology. I'm not sure. Please refrain from discussing politics on this channel. To be honest, I don't care that much. Since everyone has an opinion, there's no point in discussing it. However, what we see is that she is verbatim repeating everything that President Trump has said about cryptocurrency, borders, and virtually every other important topic. If you don't believe me, I encourage you to listen to what President Trump has said, especially during the Bitcoin conference, and also look at what she recently said about plagiarism. All of the men's words, yes, it is crazy. Isn't it? After that, I understand that Ethereum will come into play. Wall Street is raising the flag, and this Bitwise Ethereum ETF is really cool. It's not like I did this for Bitcoin. Thus, it's somewhat intriguing that he took this action. Meanwhile, as for Ethereum, where is it? As you may know, it's situated towards the bottom of the area we suggested you could access. We stated, at about 28,000, worst case thing if we always have these worst case events, like black swans, and we were right. After doing everything, we would arrive at exactly 22. Why, well, individuals, in the timing of the ETF. Following the news release, the price surged, leading to the issue being resolved. The price dropped once more, and in the interim, what's happening with Ethereum ETFs? 
With a weekly inflow of 105 million, we expect Ethereum to reach 3,000, 7,000, 10,000, and potentially $112,000 in the future. That's where Ethereum is headed, people. The Ethereum ETF is performing in precisely the same manner as the Bitcoin ETF did. Did the Bitcoin ETF have an enjoyable ride? Upon the revelation of the Bitcoin ETF, the value of Bitcoin experienced a decline, a phenomenon common to many ETFs that handle assets similarly. After the price collapse, Bitcoin is currently trading at around $60,000. The price of Bitcoin is about to reach the $90,000 mark. Currently, Ethereum is experiencing the same phenomenon. The price of the Ethereum ETF dropped. The price of the Ethereum ETF is currently beginning to rise from its low point of 2200. The first stop will be 33,500, followed by 5k throughout the rest of the rally. When this bull run ends, you could expect to see Ethereum rise to between 810 and 122,000. The same will happen with XERP and XRP ZTF, with prices dropping. As Chuckle makes fun of the XRP community, people will laugh. Like they always do, they forget that the same thing happened to Bitcoin, Ether, and probably Solana as well. After all, I'm sure we'll see a Solana ETF before we do XRP, and the price will soar due to the large amount of institutional money that is viewing XRPs to answer this question. However, it's worth noting that Ripple can conduct business in America. It doesn't matter if all business takes place elsewhere. No, it does not matter. And he's correct, everything was settled. Because they couldn't do business in the US, banks refused to work with Ripple because they were unsure whether XRP could be utilized now that there was clarity in the U.S., it is crucial that Ripple signs, announces, or begins their business flow in the U.S. since there is a lot of money there and Ripple would want to see those developments. 100% of it matters because beautiful U.S. dollars join the XRP ledger and initiate the use of XRP as a bridge token. Given that the U.S. boasts one of the world's largest economies and actively participates in global trade, it makes sense to use XRP, as I'd suggest that each individual should develop their own market plan and exit strategy. In the worst-case scenario, we opt for the stablecoin, which will continue to utilize XRP on the back end. Next, let's take a closer look at cryptocurrency. Michael promises to make a quick $1.5 million if XRP reaches his $2 target, but it will take some time. He said, I plan on moving the profits and other adults within the bullish setups when it hits that level because it's not coming this year. That's fantastic. He has a strategy in mind. As I mentioned before, XRP moves last. Therefore, based on my observations of the Marxist 2017 market, you should invest in these other coins, like Bitcoin and Ethereum, because they are expected to soar in value, and you can rotate your earnings accordingly. How can we determine when the cycle is about to conclude when XRP begins to surge and he wishes to sell it to me for $2, given that XRP is the final mover? I'm not going to sell XRP at 2 at the very least, XRP will smash an all-time high, but you know what he is capable of. I'm not here to criticize his desires. Be critical of his actions. All I'm trying to convey is that you should have your own strategy. Each individual should have their own unique strategy. Stewart should take roughly 40 seconds to talk. He'll tell you no if you try to get into this club. We have finally reached our conclusion and will proceed to pay the fine as per the court's judgment within 30 days. The SEC is, of course, free to file an appeal. I believe they have 60 days to make a decision, but again, we're focusing on the finality this ruling grants Ripple. We would prefer to concentrate on expanding our company both here and internationally, and we appreciate the clarity this litigation and its resolution have given us. We will focus on that area but only if the administration is genuinely committed to change and acting responsibly. In their war against cryptocurrency, there should be no appeal, and everyone should be actively engaged. Straight from Stewart's mouth, there you go. I believe he has the best knowledge of where he's been. I've been involved in this from the beginning. There's no reason to appeal if there are 60 days fewer than that, or 57. 
you already know that in 58 days, Ripple will sign a check for $1,225 million, and while it would be nice if they donated it to an XRP, they will pass. That's all. The SEC will verify the signature on the data line. The money will be transferred as soon as Ripple signs the data. Align the SEC symbols on the dot matrix. And that's it. Reverting to the SEC is not an option. If they accept this check tomorrow, we can't return it. We will decide to file an appeal within 30 days of receiving your check back, as the current method of money transfer for this item isn't functioning properly. Stewart is aware of this. Brad is aware of this. The SEC is aware of this and isn't wasting any more time on it. The SEC perceives its victory as payment, whereas Ripple views it as achieving all of the desired outcomes from the litigation. In the end, both parties are satisfied, so that's it, people.